Hey guys, it's Evos here and welcome to the second episode of Season 2 with Schalke. This is our current squad. I think we definitely need to buy a new midfielder because other than this Kraus and Salazar, we don't have any single backup for them. Also for Schroeder, we don't have a backup. So I think the starting squad looks kind of alright, but the depth of the squads we definitely need to improve. And to those who actually suggested some players, thank you guys, thank you so much. And of course, if you want to see this Schalke career mode daily, please leave a like and also subscribe to my YouTube channel guys you haven't already the aim to, uh, for me actually is gonna be to end this Schalke career mode with at least 5k subscribers are we gonna achieve that I'm not 100% sure it's up to you but let's jump into today's episode in the Bundesliga sadly it's not looking good we're currently 8 with only 2 points from 2 games 2 draws but hey we're gonna bounce back for sure so the first game is gonna be against Kion for this episode and we're just gonna quick sim it because I really really want to go to the end of the summer transfer window so let's see can we get a good result out against Kion, yes we can 2-1 who is that Karaman that scored okay i don't know who this, with this guy but again man sesco is still not scoring which is not good maybe we're actually gonna go for a backup also on him just for him actually to have anyone to compete with because otherwise it's looking super good for him like no competition nothing basically so far so and speaking of sesco look we received an offer for him from roma for 36.2 million nah no, no, no. I'm so sorry, Roma, but Sesco is definitely not for sale. Like 100, 100% not for sale. Okay, now this is a good one. We received an offer for this uh, Thomas Owaje one, and I'm not going to use him, so I'm going to negotiate here. I really don't know, don't want their player. Let's just check if they actually can give us someone better, but I really don't think I need any one of their team. Like, nah no 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 i just want the money man and i really want to invest the money elsewhere so let's just try here with 20 million it's too much in my opinion for this guy but if lester wants him they need to pay that amount what no come on man just give us the money please let's try 18.49 what are you gonna say lester fine that's a deal nice maybe we're actually gonna have the money to buy our dream midfielder guys and i'm super excited about this guy if of course we manage to pull this transfer on because this guy first need to like negotiate a contract with lester and from there on we're just gonna find out who are we gonna get Ooh, this is interesting let's negotiate that too i'm not gonna plan to actually use him and i'm gonna actually get some of the some new guys on loan so here if we manage to get like 30 million for this larson i'm actually down to sell him so let's see what are you gonna say 10.4 come on give us at least 12 million come on man if you want him just pay the money bros come on you can do it yes 12 million nice oh we're gonna have a lot of money man so actually the player that i really really want to go for is gonna be this Quadio Mano Kone from Borussia München Gladbach. He's kind of in our price range, but I'm not 100% sure if we can actually afford him on loan. No way, probably. Yeah. No way on loan. Let's just try to get him. I think we do have the money for him, and I think he can improve our squad massively, but I really don't want to pay that much money, man. So let's try 30 million. Can we get them some player also in this deal? I highly doubt so, to be honest with you. I mean, we can try with this striker and just 30 million. Let's see what actually they're gonna say. Okay, they want 39.8 and 15% sell on close, man. This is a lot of money, bro. Let's try 29 million and 15%. Okay, 34, we're getting there. We're just getting there. But this with this release closes, not release closes, but um, sell on close. This is crazy, man. Like, honestly, crazy. So come on, 30 million and 15% sell on close. They're gonna take some time. Ooh, this can be good. This can also be bad. Some of you also suggest this Calvin Basse from Ajax. And I really don't know how much he's worth. I put him to be scouted. But if we manage actually to receive some money for the players, we managed to sell maybe i can actually go for him but i really need a backup striker and also a backup right or a winger or left winger because we do have only sane cd sane andreas that's it if any one of them gets injured we're honestly screwed guys so and in the meantime they actually managed to agree on that which is amazing in my opinion so let's try to negotiate now a deal with this Kone and make him our new starting midfielder i'm super excited to use this guy man i think this guy can bring so much good games for us so let's just try here to negotiate something with him he wants five years perfect bro perfect release close no release close Kone i'm so sorry about it but no release close oh he wants only 26k per week nice let's just remove the bonus and i'm down with it actually 
there he is our new center mid guys i'm super excited to use this guy like i'm really really i never used him so far in a career mode but i think he's such a hidden gem so let's see what type of rating he is because we couldn't sadly scout him but i think he should be over 80 or at least i hope he is gonna be over 80 so let's see he's exactly 80 actually and maybe we paid a little bit too much for him but doesn't matter guys just doesn't matter there you go kone is now our player come on now we basically do have only 1 million and 32k as a salary but i think we're still waiting for one of our guys to actually go so let's hope he's gonna be gone super fast yeah i think now it's the time okay so now we're gonna have over 10 million again which is good we're gonna have around 13 million come on so actually some of you suggested anthony elanga as an option i really don't know if we can get him on loan sadly we can but let's try to approach him to sign him i think he can be a good backup but are we gonna be able to get him i'm not 100 percent sure here to actually find out how much he's worth i'm just gonna offer here hamari Traore. they accept it straight away oh no oh no was that a good move but maybe we can now get the ajax guy yeah i think we're actually gonna do that and we're actually gonna use him as a backup yeah i think it's not bad i really hope we don't pay that much for anthony langa but doesn't matter guys just doesn't matter anthony langa is just a good player to have in the squad so and we basically get him for free but 45k to receive as a salary man this is a little bit too much for our club let's try 35k no he wants to 48 come on at least uh, let's actually remove that i really don't want to screw up with the wages but i really don't want to give him that much man wow he's still wanting that amount Come on, man, accept 38k, Antonio Langa. No, he doesn't want... I really don't want to screw this deal, so let's just accept it. I think we paid too much for Antonio Langa, to be honest with you. Let's actually see what his rating is. I really hope he's going to be at least close to 80, man. Mm, 6, 76. Yeah, I guess not that bad, but not that great either. So now the last move that we can actually do is going to be this get to get this Calvin Basse. I'm not 100% sure if we're actually going to be able to, but I do have some money and I do have some players. So let's try to remove this flick from our team and let's offer them mm, not 10 million, but let's offer them 8 million in this flick and let's see what actually they're going to say. Ah, they want more, man. They want more. So we're actually not going to be able to get them. Hmm. I mean, right now the team looks kind of all right and kind of with a lot of depth but also not that a <laughs> lot of depth like i mean the right back position maybe it's the weakest right now but is this ortiz who probably can develop nicely but let's see guys let's see if we manage to get some right back until the end of the gen the summer transfer window, this could be great but if we cannot then maybe in the january transfer window we can actually go for it center back position looks kind of all right we do have scalvini as a backup which is a good one this Weber is from our academy. He's a young star and he's going to be the backup of Udojie. Midfield now looks kind of better. Like with Kone, we do have also Kraus as a backup. So here I'm really, really happy about. Oh, wow. Our Wonder Kit is with five star skills, five star weak move. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. And we also added a little bit of a backup with Anthony Elanga to the uh, wing. So I think it's going to be good. But now let's just try to get a striker on loan. I think this guy from Chelsea is going to be a perfect option. And then I think I'm actually going to go for some uh, right backs that are free agents. Can we get this for Fana on loan? Yes, we can. Let's try to get him on loan with an option to buy. I really want to do that. And I think we can actually develop him. Let's do two year. What are you going to say, Chelsea? Oh, they're happy to do that. Nice. But I really don't want to pay that much uh, salary for him. Let's do 50-50. They still want 60-40. 55-45, please. Okay, that sounds good. Oh, transfer fee. Hmm gonna offer them 8 million and let's see what actually they're gonna say i think 8 million sounds all right so yeah 8 million in my opinion it's a reasonable value for david fofana so he's actually gonna join us nice not bad last seconds of the ending of the summer transfer window guys nothing sensational happened and now we do have a game against Bayern. Whew, what a game but before the game against Bayern, the development plan for this udoje is ready to go so let's just change his position from a left wing back to left back and let's see is he actually gonna go up i really hope he goes at least one or two up but let's see no he remained the same really mm, this was not expect i really expect him to actually go up guys but hey 
maybe there is another way to actually start improving him faster so if you know that please write it down in the comments it's gonna be much much appreciate to hear from you but let's now jump into the game against Bayern this is also gonna be a debut for our new midfielder Kone Anthony Alanga is also on the bench so let's see let's see maybe we can bring him also in this is gonna be such a nice game guys i'm super excited for this game sadly it's not from Allianz arena but hey i really really hope oh they're using matthias theo right now as a striker really the guy that didn't even had a chance to actually play for our club they're using him now as a striker this is weird come on kone oh look at him he look fast Ooh, I messed it up here with the pass, but now maybe to Leroy. Ooh, what a nice pass. I'm gonna cross. I really don't know if Sesu can get the ball. <laughs> the boy is back. The boy is back. And where we actually needed him, he started to shine. We signed a new striker and he just started to deliver, guys. Like, this is the effect of bringing um, another player to compete with. Super happy. What a finish from Sesco, guys. I really don't know who was against him, but what a finish. Nice. His first goal for the season. And come against Bayern. Nice. Come on, Ortiz. Show me that you deserve to be the first-time choice, man. Let's try with Kone from there. Ooh. It was not that bad shoot, to be honest with you. Wow. I think the guy can bring a lot of goals to us. Where is Fomecano? Why they do have this Ibanez as a ghost as a defender? And also I saw that uh, Goretzka went to actually Liverpool. What's happening with Bayern? Are they starting to crumble? After they lost um, the Bundesliga last season, they are starting just to sell their players. Ooh, imagine, imagine. Ooh, Klinsley Kuman. Nice save, Manuel. Nice save, Manuel. Ooh, Manuel Noir needs to actually play as good as possible so we can actually here get a good result but Kone nice interception bro come on Schroeder come on come on Leonard Sesku here oh if this was not Kingsley Coman if this was someone else man no one could have actually catch Sesku but what an offer we received by the way for Sesku like I'm impressed Manuel Neuer Manuel Neuer save us here big time good that it was Matthias Theo Otherwise, if it was like Lewandowski here, poof, this was definitely a goal. Ooh, Manuel Noor saved also the, the one from Musiawa. Come on. Ooh, Leroy Sane here to Andreas, if somehow can possible do that. Nice, Schroeder. Ah, I think we messed it up, guys. Ooh, uh, Udoji here. Come on, Udoji. Let's cross it one more time. Sesco. No. Bring it back, bring it back. I think he's not in offside. He's not. Again. Ah, this was for Andreas. This was bad move here. Ooh, ooh, they scored one back. I really didn't expect that to be a goal. Actually, I thought it's gonna be an offside, but what a finish! Was that really not an offside goal? Who scored that? Oh, they do have Mason Mount, the bad boy. Really? Very, very interesting, guys. Very interesting to sign Mason Mount of all people, but hey. Ooh, I really hope this is not gonna be a red. No, 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 man. No, this was not for a red card. Was it for a red card? Maybe it was for a red card. Ah, we're men down right now against Bayern at their stadium. Not good, not good. <laughs> I put Anthony Alanga, guys. Let's see what the boy can bring. Maybe his fresh legs can do the business and just secure a goal for us. He looks kind of all right. But let's see. Come on, Anthony Alanga. Show me why I pay so much money for you, bro. Show me why you deserve to start ahead of Andreas. Ooh, this was not that bad. But now we're gonna lack in the midfield. Like, this is for sure. But I really wanna go for the, the win, guys. Like, if we don't go for the win, then it's not gonna be us. So, probably in the 80th minute, something like that. Maybe we can just change. Uh, one of our attackers for a midfielder but for now it's looking kind of all right so let's give the boys a chance to play to Leroy oh Leroy Sane here has so much space man so much space bro come on Leroy you can score that man Leroy Leroy Sane against his former club what a season he's having honestly like 
the season that he started right now is sensational. I think he hasn't missed a single game to score. And I think he's the top goal scorer actually right now in the Bundesliga. Nice. Come on, Leroy. This was the season that I needed from you, the previous one, man. But good that it would not cost us anything. Like five goals in four games from a winger. This is nice. Again to Antonio Langa. Again to Antonio Langa. Completely open. No, he couldn't manage to shoot that. Oh, but we're playing so much better than Bayern, bro. Like, so, so much better than them. I really, really hope that we can actually win the game. Zaniolo here. Oh, this looks dangerous. This looks dangerous. Oh, Musiawa missed that. But let's put a midfielder. And just let's remove, like, Schroeder, maybe. And let's put Kraus for more stability in the midfield. And I really, really hope that this will actually not cost us the game. Now, this is dangerous. Now, this is dangerous. Kinsley, come on. No, 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 no. Please, please. Oh, no. Ooh, Manuel Neuer. What a save. What a save from Big Bo Manuel Neuer. Come on. 78 minutes. Can we survive against Bayern, guys? Can we do that? This is going to be the question. Clear, clear, clear. Nice. Ooh, Kone here. Okay. We survived. 85th minute, so... Can we survive five more? This is going to be the question here. Come on, boys. No. Come on, come on, come on. Ooh, to Manuel. Good one here. Manuel Noel should have no problem clearing it. And he does not have any problems clearing it. To Antonio Langa. Oh, what a chance. What a chance. This should be 3-1 for us. This should be 3-1 for us. Leroy. And it is 3-1 for us. Come on against his former club. He's celebrating. I really don't know why are you celebrating against your former club, bro. But... What a game. What a game. With a man down, we managed to score two goals against Bayern. We are ready, guys. We are ready for the next level in our development. We're just ready for it. And next game is actually going to be in the Champions League. So let's jump into it. And now, guys, now is the time for our first Champions League game. But before that, I do scout it one free agent guy and i really want to actually get him this is gonna be this christian gunter he's currently a free agent i really don't know why he's a free agent but i'm just gonna approach him i think he can be a nice right back for us i really don't know if he's actually gonna play as a right back good for us but hey we're just gonna give it a try and when he's a free agent why just not send assign him as a free agent here i'm gonna offer him three years i really hope he actually agree on that and now the wage, guys. Now the wage. How much should we actually offer him? I'm gonna try with 30k. And let's see what he's actually gonna say. That's a reasonable offer. All right. Not that much money paid for him. He's an 80 rated. So pretty good. Pretty good. And in 15 weeks, he can actually be a right back. So I'm just gonna do that. So we can actually switch his position. But I think it's a good way for us. So let's jump now into the game against Anderlecht. And let's see how is it gonna be. I really, really hope here we can actually get a good result. But... Let's see, I think at the end of the day, the death of our squad is going to be the th the only thing that's going to be the weakest spot in our squad because we do have such a great like starting lineup, but not a good death. So let's see, let's see if this actually going to affect our performance in the Bundesliga or also in the Champions League. Of course, here, at least for the group stage, I'm just going to push for the Champions League and just rotate the squad even more in the Bundesliga. But in the future... How is it going to be? I'm not 100% sure. But our first Champions League pack. Let's hope we make it a good one. Come on, boys. Ooh, we start with a dangerous free kick. And here I need to put a player on the line. Because otherwise, probably going to be 1-0 for them. Ooh, good that we put a player on the line, guys. Like, AI are so good from free kicks. Like, this is ridiculously good how they are. But come on. We need to actually win these games, guys. These are, I think, the most important games. Uh, to actually decide if we're gonna have more games in Europe next year or this is gonna be it for our performance. Like, I don't expect big things in the Champions League, especially against, what a goal, uh, Barca or Napoli, but at least against Anderlecht, I really hope we can actually win these games, but not the best start of the game, guys. It's not the best start, especially at our stadium, but we can bounce back. This is for sure. Ortiz, Ortiz, nice one. Come on, Ortiz. I'm gonna cross. Ah, I think I crossed too early. What a shot, by the way. What a shot from Leroy Sane. Leroy Sane is honestly in the form of his life, I think, guys. He's so good currently. I really hope he actually can keep this form for the rest of the season. Because we definitely need him. Leroy! 1-1. Come on, I'm telling you guys. Like, Leroy Sane is... 
on another form right now. He cannot stop scoring, guys. He's currently like Marcus Rashford in real football. Like Marcus Rashford, everything he does turns into gold. All right now for Manchester United, and I think the same is doing also Leroy Sané here for us in the career mode. So especially against Anderlecht at our stadium, we definitely need to win this game. If we drop points here, just don't expect from us anything against Barca or Napoli. But you never know, guys. You just never know. What a foul to, uh, against Leroy Sané. Please don't injure him, man. Just please don't injure him. Oh, they got a red card. Nice. Oh, they do have Araujo. Is that the Araujo who I think it is? Kone! I really thought he has his first goal for the club, bro. How he missed that, man. This is like 30 million player and he missed this type of chance. Ah, but at least we're with one man up, so I think we can actually win the game, guys. Which is gonna put so much pressure into them that I don't think that they can resist on. But let's see to Leroy. Ooh, Leroy! Leroy Sane, the unstoppable guy right now. What a comeback. What a comeback, guys. 2-1 for us against Anderlecht. We need to score more because every single goal here can count. What an assist and what a finish from Leroy. Leroy Sane is honestly in a form right now. Oh, Andreas here. We do have so much, so much more space, guys. Look at it. Like, against us is Jan Vertonghen and Sesko makes it 3-1. With men up against Anderlecht at our... No way that we can actually lose this game right now. But Jan Vertonghen was so, so much slower than him. And what a finish from Sesko. Sesko is also back, guys. Nice, 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 nice. I'm excited right now for the end of this season. Like... What a season we do have ahead of us, guys. Like, now we do have also games against Barca and Napoli in the Champions League. And the biggest question is, can this squad actually compete against the big clubs in Europe? Like, this is... Go I, in my opinion, we're still not ready yet to actually compete against the big clubs in Europe. But, hey, you just never know. Maybe we are, but we just don't know it. Ooh, Sesco here. This was actually a shot what he tried. <laughs> But if we can get, like, something from either Napoli or Barca, maybe we can actually, like, somehow go into the next round. But, wow. I only want this Schroeder to start picking up his form, guys. He's, I think, the only player that is really, really not shining for us yet. But I really hope with the time that he can actually start playing better and just get more experience and everything and just give more assists, like play, score more goals because the goals is also a big part of this game. And he, oh, I think he's in offside. Is he? No, he's not in offside. Leroy. 3-1. A uh, 4-1, sorry, but a hat-trick for Leroy Sane. Ah, nice, bros. Nice. Just an easy here go. I really thought that he's in offside from some point, but what a nice cheeky, cheeky finish. Come on. Ooh, they brought one back. 4-2. Good go for them. Like, Udoji here got beaten up super easily, and here he couldn't even manage to catch him. Good go. Good go for them. Like, nothing against their goal. All right, 4-2 against Anderlecht. First start of the Champions League. What a start. What a start. Let's see actually what Barca and Napoli now did because this is also important for our... It's not going to be shown here. What? Arsenal beat Paris Saint-Germain 4-1. Wow. This mighty Arsenal, guys. What a start for them. So in the Bundesliga, we're currently fourth with only two points behind the first Borussia Dortmund. Not bad. Not bad. And in the Champions League... Ooh, Napoli beat actually Barca. Let's go. So now that means that we are actually first in our group. This will not remain like that. Like, for sure, it will not remain like that. But nice. So next game is going to be against Hanover. And this game, I'm actually planning to just quick sim and just move on, basically. So let's see. Can we actually get a good result against them? I really hope we can. 4-2. Sesco with how many goals? Two goals. Andreas and again, Leroy Sane. Like, the boy can just not stop scoring, guys. This is ridiculously good what's happened. I'm super, super happy that we do have him, like, Next game and probably the last game for today's episode is going to be against Dusseldorf. But here we're just going to try to actually experiment a little bit with the lineup. I'm going to put Anthony Elanga. Also Kraus is going to be back in the lineup. And Gunther is going to be our new right back for this game. So let's see. Can we win against them? 
Ooh, Kone with his first goal. This is the first time I think that Sane didn't score, but nice. We won 1-0. What a, what a season is ahead of us, guys. I'm super, super excited. I really hope you're also too, because without you, this season will not be possible. So thank you, guys. Thank you so much for the love and the support. But let's see actually how he's looking in the Bundesliga. And I think this is going to be it for now. I'm going to end the episode before the game against Napoli. So oh, what? We are currently second? Wow, with only two points behind uh, Dortmund. Wow. But look at the goal difference at Dortmund. Like 16 and 3. Poof, 13 goal difference. What a team. What a team they do have. I really, really hope you enjoyed today's episode, guys. And of course, if so, then please leave a like. And also subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't already. And we're going to see each other tomorrow at the same time with the next episode of the Schalke Career Mode. Bye-bye.